Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to actually download and install Corsair SSD toolbox on Windows 10. So if you have a Corsair SSD and you know you want to see its total write and reads, um, you can use their official software and um, today um, I'm going to show you how to download that. So first of all you have to go to this link and this is the link that we are going to go to. So the, I will put this link in the description so you can actually go from there. So I'm just going to copy this and then open our browser, then paste this. So we are here and now I'm just going to click on this download locations and I'm just going to close this ad. Now the download will automatically begin and it has. So I'm going to start downloading. Now I'm going to close the browsers because we don't need that. After finishing the download, we need to go to the downloaded folder. So I'm going to close this. So if you have downloaded a certain file, it will actually go to the download. So I'm going to show you how to go to there. Um, you have to click on File Explorer, which is this icon. And then you have to go to Downloads here. If you have IDM installed, you, you have to go to Compressed and you will find your file. If you don't have IDM, the file will appear here. Now, um, this is the file that we are looking for. So we are just going to right click on this and click Extract All and select Extract here so that we will extract the folder and there it is. This is the software that we need to install. So I'm just going to double click on it. Then now in here, uh, you have to select, I accept the agreement and you can change the um, installation folder, but I like to keep it as it is. So I'm going to click next, then click next again, install. So it is as simple as that. So we're going to finish and it will actually launch Corsair's toolbox. So let's see. Here is the Corsair SSD toolbox. So you can see I'm using the Force MP510 MPME drive. And you can see the total reads and writes of this drive. As far as I remember, I have a total of 400 terabytes. So I'm really not afraid of this uh, 11 terabytes of written data because it's like, you know, it has been one year or something like that. So the drive is good. It gets hot, but you know, it's in a laptop. So that's to be expected. Anyway, um, that's the software there and thank you everyone for watching this video and if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to your channel so that we can actually make more content like this and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.